Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What a Horse. Yes, sir. I want to tell everybody, pray for Jerry, the mother. Thank they, you. Uh, they've got her in the hospital, and uh, everything else is going good, though, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You're working hard. I'm working hard. Don't you lie. Yeah, don't I'm sit working, here and tell I'm no lie. He goes in here. These people know you don't work that hard. He, he's he's the boss man. He that makes you have to work harder. <laughs> oh, you got to keep up with everybody That's else. Right. All right, you do your thing, then I'll do mine, and we'll get this started. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty, we had a great show down in Alabama this yeah, weekend, we Alabama Jubilee. Show. Now they, they always do a great, great job. I do want to say this: uh, United States Senators Marshall Blackburn and Bill Haggerty are trying to get a 60-day extension on the comments, and uh, Mitch McConnell of Kentucky is also helping. But uh, right now, the comment period is supposed to end October the 21st, uh, 2023. If we get the extension, it will push it out to December 20th. Uh, that would be right before Christmas. But um, everybody, to me, everybody needs to remember their rights. They need to read the 14th Amendment because a lot of this... Uh, it just comes that, that we're, we're denied so much due process and everything. And, and no, nobody seems to pay attention to that. A lot of people think we're just fine. Nothing's going to happen. Everything's cool. But I got news for you. This industry does not act. 
we're not going to be fine. That's Everything's right. not going to be cool. I mean, my God, if the last th time, the only thing that saved us was Trump got elected. And then he, he put a hold on everything. They p put this in there. There's nobody going to be there to save us. No. There's nobody going to say, no, nah, we're going to stop it. This industry, the trainers especially, just have to, in my opinion, have to stand up and say enough's enough. Uh, yeah, because this is our livelihood as the trainers. Is. You know, I mean, it it going to hurt some owners and stuff like that, but it mainly going to hurt a lot of all of us trainers because especially when this is the way you make your livelihood and you feed your family. That's fact. And that's, that's and what a lot of people you, don't understand. You, and this is the way you make your living is training right. them horses and whatever. So, I mean, if this go away, I mean, it's a lot of trainers have been doing this for a long period of time, and that's all they know. Well, I mean, we got some trainers that, you know, that they, that they have made their living. They could retire and not really worry about it. But there's young trainers that have dedicated their life to studying and, and getting to where they can train. Now they've got their own barns. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, if people don't open their eyes and look at what's going on, and exactly what's happening, then then we're going to be in. I mean, I'm not going to be in it anyway. December, in December, I'm through with it. To as far as doing this, I'll still have horses, and I still I'll still enjoy them. But I don't. I won't be my. <laughs> I don't make my living from it. But now you. But you're talking about some trainers. It's only a handful of trainers that can retire right now and don't oh, have I no know. living. But the majority. Are still yeah, hard working. Are still hard and have to do it. I'll give y'all an example right now. Everybody needs to pray for Dick Peoples. Yes. Now here's a man that that he, he he's retirement age, but he's still working. Had an accident the other day. Yeah. And now he's got a bum knee that they're going to have to replace. And this is the time the trainers need to come together and help him at time of need like well, that. Well, they need to help him. That's. But, I mean, that's the regardless. I mean, really you, need to stand up you stand here up now. And, you know, they, they do. They need to. They this, need to stand up and fight for what they know is right. This injury is about like a, a big family. You know. It is. It is. It's. It's. Everybody helps everybody. Yes. But right now, I, I can. I see everything that's happening, and I see especially on the only pl place that had a great show this weekend, Alabama Jubilee. Yes. The government was out as every one of them. And you talk about they they try to oppress this industry, and they work hard at it. I'm gonna tell you they do. But I do want to say one thing. I believe I'm right when I say this. If I'm not, someone's gonna call and they're gonna say, "Well, Jerry, you messed up." Which y'all know how to get in touch with me. I do believe Ali Joe Jacobs is the only youth we've got that has won both the walking world championship equitation and the spotted championship now here she is she won her world championship this year's celebration equitation and that girl shows everything she was showing yes. pony this weekend showed in the racking class this weekend uh, I believe that girl jumped the straddle of a wild bull I truly do because she loves to show and here she is, winning the equitation in the spotted world championship this year. They call that dedication. Yes. And she don't back up. Now she doesn't. Do you see where Jake borrowed one of her horses? <laughs> he said, I just want to show. That's a good deal right there, yeah. Allie Joe. Congratulations. Wins them both. It's a good deal. Now, if I'm wrong about that, I need somebody to give me a call. Yeah. Let me know. But I believe I'm right. I've not I've not seen it in the last twenty something years I haven't seen yeah. it anyway. Because that's how long I've been doing it. Well, we're going to show a clip that, uh, to me, is the future. And this is another reason why everybody needs to stand up. Because stars of the future from the celebration this year 
showed what's coming. And I'd, I'd love to know that these youngsters have a future as far as showing Tennessee walking yes. horses. And a lot's going to depend on what happens in the coming months and or days, whichever whichever we've got, because once they enact that, it's going to be hard to do something. We, we, as an industry, we really need to go after them right now. Yeah. And we've got the, the evidence. We've got the material. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be showing you video backing up exactly what I'm saying, because it's, it's vital that this industry stand up. But right now, let's watch Stars of the Future. Stars of our future. And tonight, we want to bring them all back in the ring, give you a chance to acknowledge their accomplishments of this year's celebration. All of our 2023 Youth World Grand Champions. Take over, and we're ready to welcome in our first of those World Grand Champions in 2023. First in our Stars of the Future Showcase is John Garrett Burton. John Garrett Burton is the first ever young man to win the Walking Horse Entertainment World Grand Championship. John is the 15 year old son of Stuart and Kelly Burton of Bowling Green, Kentucky. He's currently a sophomore at South Warren High School where he's a member of the FFA and National Honor Society. Last July, Lee Stewart paired John with his equitation mount, Jose Bambino. They made their first appearance together, winning the 12th to 14 year old equitation world championship and were reserved in the world grand championship last year. Prior to the 2023 celebration, they had wins at the Penny Royal, the Fast Spring Showcase, and Spring Extravaganza. During this year's celebration, this team won their preliminary class before claiming the Exhibition World Championship. John wants to thank his trainer, Lee Stewart, his parents, and supporters for making this such a great celebration. DPA Ocean, more to come at all of our Youth World Grand Champions. Next is Piper Ann B. Six-year-old daughter of Bo and Rachel T. of Bell Buckle. Her and Brian Parker is two-time world grand champion the Silver Lining, known as T.T. in the bar. Prepared by Kristen Lamar of Bell Buckle. Piper has been competing in the lead line division since the age of three. She's the first grade at Cooper Christian Academy. Piper and T.T.'s favorite dreams are Bruce Dutton. So when Piper is in practicing on her pony, she can be found at the bar. Playing with a kid, a cowboy. Her show big, then her show heavy. Piper wants to be a horse trainer when she grows up. Before becoming a World Grand Champion show pony, TP was a former Amish pony who was ridden to and from school each day. She would stand outside during school time to a hitching post waiting for her rider and return trip home. Um, what a change from that to a celebration spot by ride last Saturday night. And now a spot in our Stars of the Future showcase.
This little but mighty team went on to win the Youth Pony World Grand Championship. This was definitely the ultimate honor. Thank you to Premier Stable and the cheers of the crowd here and to our family for their support. Our youth 6 to 17 year old Walsy Pony World Grand Champion, the ultimate honor, and Jack Carney. to the show ring are you show pleasure world grand champion is annie's lined with cash and chloe and have been playing chloe riding annie's lined with cash for 2022 and 2023 you show pleasure world grand champion chloe and have been playing is the daughter of kelly weaver of shelbyville and keith mcclain of atlanta georgia she's in the eighth grade at west school in Belbuckle. her passion is horses of all time she is quick to say that Annie Klein was cash in her favorite horse, but she loves jumpers too. In 2022, Chloe won the USDF National Children's Indoors Championship, competing against 75 riders, age 17 and under. Chloe extends appreciation to the celebration for this opportunity, and we salute her tonight on her World Grand Championship title in our youth show pleasure event in the division. Annie Klein with cash as Chloe and it McClain. We welcome our owner amateur youth 6 to 11 year old Bears of Gilding World Grand Champion and Dollars Silver Collector, Gracie Jean Ware. The 11 year old daughter of Thomas and Julie Ware of Cynthiana, Kentucky. She's a fifth grader at Southside Elementary in Cynthiana. She loves spending time with her family, including her four siblings, and pets, and many friends. Tracy Jean trains weekly with Claire and Jennifer Hankins at Hankins Stables in Harris, Kentucky, but she has to travel a bit further to Ryder's Stable, where Brent Ryder trains Dollar Silver Lining. Dollar, as Tracy Jean affectionately calls her horse, is 19 years old. Tracy Jean formed a bond with Dollar even before she could ride him, hanging from his neck and giving him special treats. Dollar will do anything for peppermint candy, searching pockets, ears, and hair for that sweet treat. Tom Ware, the leader and head coach for this walking horse family, started teaching his granddaughters to ride Tennessee walking horses about seven years ago. Dollar's silver collector was initially purchased from Macy Ware, Gracie Jean's sister, to ride, and then passed down to Gracie Jean. The Ware family is so proud of Gracie Jean and Dollar for winning this World Grand Championship, a first for both rider and horse, as well as for trainer Brent Ryder and Paul Paul Ware. The Ware family and Ryder's tables are so appreciative to everyone for their support, cheers, and kindness, and we appreciate them being a part of our stars of the future as we congratulate Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware, our youth 6 to 11 year old world grand champion. Next will be our Youth Trail Pleasure World Grand Champion, and that's Luke Yano and Caroline Bell. Caroline is the daughter of John and Sarah Bell of Pikeville, a senior at Lesko County High School where she plays volleyball and competes in barrel racing. Caroline and Luciano rode to their second World Grand Championship last night. Luciano is a 10-year-old gelding by Jose Jose. Beginning as a 5-year-old, an amateur on the train, an all-day pleasure horse. Luciano is now a four-time world champion and three-time world grand champion. He has a puppy dog personality and is patient at times. But Luciano is also a show-off, and like any gelding, he's going to make sure that everyone is paying attention to him. And that's what makes Luciano a proud favorite. Caroline plans to attend Middle Tennessee State University next year and to become an equine chiropractor. Caroline wants to thank her parents for always supporting her passion for horses and for her friends and family for always showing up and supporting her. She also wants to thank Bailey Mom for being the best trainer and always having her horses at their best. She sends a big thank you to Joe Lester and everyone at Joe Lester's table for being the best in the business. Caroline's genes and passion run deep in the walking horse industry. Her maternal grandfather was the first person to ever use a radio at the celebration and be guided for his state, a blind man, to the Show Pleasure Championship in 1977. Congratulations to Luciano and Caroline Sell, our Youth Trail Pleasure World Grand Champion. Harper Browder had a 
choice to make tonight because he had two World Grand Championship matches. But she's showing one of them tonight, and tonight the trade is who we'll see in the show ring. Harper is the 17-year-old daughter of Red and Courtney Ryder of Columbia, Kentucky, who's a five-time World Grand Champion and 11-time World Champion. She's a senior at Adair County High School, where she is treasurer of the FFA. When asked if she would like to participate in any sport, her answer is always, I can't, because that's when I show work. Harper does enjoy racing and selling a Jerry and Dwarf note of spending time with her family and friends. Scarlett O'Hara LLC is a three-time world champion and two-time world grand champion. This is Harper and Scarlett's second year to show together at the celebration. They've also shown at the fun shows, the walking in the smoky show, trainer show, the spring extravaganza, and the fast spring showcase. Harper would like to thank Brandon Tate and Laurie Toon for the opportunity to ride and show Scarlett. The trail she's riding tonight is a three-time world champion and one-time world grand champion. Harper and Betrayal are the first ever youth all-day pleasure world grand champions to be crowned here at the celebration. They have shown us the walk to the Smoky Show, the Spring Extravaganza, the Columbia Spring Jubilee, and the Money Tree Classic. Harper wants to thank the Liz Gathaway family for the opportunity to show Betrayal this year as she dedicates this world grand championship ride for Liz. Harper thanks Laurie Toon, Brandon Tate, and the whole Circle Team Stables family for their assistance and their hard work training for Conlet O'Hara and B Trail. And then our most recent World Grand Champion in the Youth Division, recently crowned Youth 12 to 17 year old World Grand Champion. That's Never more is Julia Calloway. Julia Page Calloway, 16 years of age, a junior at Webb School at Bell Buckle. She began showing approximately four years ago under the watchful eye of her father, John Allen Calloway. She and her mount Nevermore have an undeniable bond, and they owe it all to Dr. Barbara Martin. their first World Grand Championship title just moments ago, but definitely one of our stars of the future represented in our showcase at this demonstration tonight. Congratulations, Julia Calloway and Deborah Moore. That's what everybody needs to be thinking about and fighting for our right because what's going on now in the inspections yes. is against the law. Plain and simple. It's all you gotta do is look and listen and watch what's going on and you you can't create violations. You have to honestly find a true violation. And too many times we're being hit with false violations, and and just in my opinion, if if you can't, if you don't know a scar, or if you can't understand how a horse is, you don't need to be in there inspecting horses. You're exactly right. You know, it just I got a bunch of questions I want to ask, but I'm not going to ask them right now. I want to find the answer to them, 
And so when I ask him, I want to know the answer, just like a lawyer well, tell you. That's a fact. Yeah. I want to know the answer to him before I ask the question. <laughs> I got the answer to some of it. Yeah. We're going to go over that next week. But right now, you need to do what you do. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now, this is offspring. Now, Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams' stable. Yes. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now, I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. Alrighty, we're going to go to the Alabama Jubilee, and I'm going to tell you, I, I was very, very pleased to see the number of horses and also to see the quality. Yes. I mean, I did not see one horse that was questionable. Every one of them coming in there, just looking good, walking, shaking, and that to me that means more than anything. Right there's your amateur 15, two and under. And here's another thing. I'm gonna bring this up right off the bat, uh, and I tell you why. The horse that won this class had also won world championship at the celebration. Already back, right back in there. Yeah. So that says a lot for the horse, the owner, and the trainer, Dale Watts and his son. Because Formal Line is just an outstanding horse. And you couldn't ask for anything any better. This is a good class, a large class. Formal Line and Carol Baxter took the blue. The Comanche, Pam Russell, was reserved. He's pushing the dollar. Roxy Cole, Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine, Jose's Full Throttle, Lisa Enfinger, Cash's Old, Bold and Fresh, Carol Counts, Hardy, Lucky Collins, and Gin Fusion. Gary Gilmore finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to tell you, when you've got a situation where you've got a horse like right there. I mean, win the world championship and then turn right around. 
pressure right back in there again. What more can you ask for? You're right. everybody too that every horse that we show today in an ad there's 25 percent of that ad is going towards a legal fund if nobody else wants to do it i will and i recommend everyone if you love this horse and you want to keep this horse going you might want to just run some ads so we can That's raise it. the money to get it going there she is, former line and Carol Baxter. Your amateur 15 to an under winner. That's a good horse. I tell you what, you said Victor Bashdale had her take. Mm -hmm. All the way around. <laughs> Tickle me. That is one good horse though, buddy. One good horse. That's what you call walking. Here's your park performance. Dan, he had a good horse show down there. Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell takes the blue for George and Kim Lewis. Knock em Ted, Janie Chapman was reserved. Drop a line, R.M. Kellett for Gay Dempsey. Deal with it, Mickey McCormick for Debbie Marbury. So real, Patrick Thomas for Cynthia and Marion Wright. In integrity, Edgar Abernathy for Dever Fulcher. Finished out the ribbons. But I want to thank everybody that uh, jumped in and advertised their horse. Because that money may sit there forever, but if they uh, file a suit, I'm giving it to uh, someone that will give it straight to the attorney. Uh, I believe that that's the only way is to defend ourselves. You know, a lot of people don't think about their rights. That's, yeah. that's what upsets me more than anything is when someone tries to infringe on my rights. Yeah. You know, Jerry, another thing is what they're asking for, they're, they have no evidence to support it. Except right. the Humane Society wants it. Yeah. And that, that's what gets me, even their own findings, that the government did. Didn't show it. There he is, Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis, your park performance winner. Those two good people right oh, yeah. there, George and Kim. <clears throat> you can't beat them. You know, Dan showed him that horse in state class. Oh yeah, quite a while before he put him down into park performance. Right here's your amateur two-year-old stallion. I was I was happy for Becky because I've seen her show this horse and sh where she should have won. She's had yeah. several times this year that she should have won that she didn't. But it give you cold chills and Becky Might for Jerry and Becky Might took the blue in this class and Jose's counted up and Mills was reserved. But Becky made a great show. She surely did.
You know, she sets a good seat. Oh, yeah, she do. Becky's been riding for a long time. I mean, she's, oh, yeah. she's a good rider. She worked out of Sand Creek during the auctions. That's where I met her. But And she worked for me for a while. And she married my buddy, Jerry. Good name. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Real good name. We got a good name, Jerry. <laughs> That, that is a good horse yeah. now. He's got that, not real, real quick, but he's got that good steady yeah. head shake and walk. You can't ask for better than that. Now, if Jerry was on that horse, he'd be flying out, because he likes to go fast. Good deal, Becky. Youth 11 and under. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs takes the blue. Southern Attitude, Levy Parker. Knock on wood, Anderson Collinger. And I'm a mastermind, Wilder Way finished out the ribbons. Here's another horse picking up where it left off. Yep. Quite a few people there too. Oh, he did. Sure. place to have a horse show it down there, nice really. Now, the first night, they they had the track a little bit too deep, yeah. though, they had it turned up, and, and uh, I just don't think that's what they were expecting. And, but the second night, now, they had it packed, and yeah. it, was, it was a lot better. Well, that arena usually had a bunch of rodeos in yeah. and stuff like that. They haven't had a walking horse show in that place Since in years. Since last year. No, they had one there last year. Matter of fact, they had one there earlier this year. Yeah, that's right. But now they have. But, but I made a big show like yeah. this right here. But you're you're right. It's just now. It, it's getting there now. Let's put it like that. Here he is, Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. She she did a little bit of everything down there. Showed in the pony class. Showed in the racking class. I asked Jake, I said, y'all going to the rack and celebration? He said, ain't decided yet. <laughs> I, I would imagine Allie Joe will make the call. The call yeah. <laughs> if it left of her, I believe she'd be in the ring showing oh, something. Oh, yeah. She would show something. Youth ponies. This, this right here was something else. Country Lineman and B.B. Beasley took the blue for Beth Beasley. Da Haas and Ali Joe Jacobs was reserved. And I'm Big Enough, Maxine Beasley was third. Okay. So they just got her down in there. And all three of them made great shows. Yep. That country lineman now, that that's a good horse there. Yeah. Real good horse.
Wayne, let me call you back in a minute. We're doing the show. Nice class of horses right there. Yeah, it is. The three real good horses. All yeah. of them walking, shaking, and, and doing exactly what they're supposed to. A class like this is hard to judge. Yes, it is. It is, because you really can't make a bad call. Yep, you're right. But right there as he was, the country lineman and B.B. Beasley from Beth Beasley. You pony winner. You know, when you see them, there wasn't that much difference in them. Oh, yeah. Here's I'm Big Enough and Maxine yeah. Beasley. So, you see what I'm saying? That's right. Beasley girls now, they can ride. Oh, they can. Yeah. Amateur three-year-old Marin Gilding. Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter took the blue. Right there she is. Wicked Jen, Jaden Jackson's reserve. I am sassy, Lucky Collins. Sky's masterpiece, Christy Guthrie. Finished out the ribbons. I'm gonna tell you, that Jimmer's country girl, I think, now I may, I'm gonna look this up, but I believe she's only been beat, defeated one time. I believe that, and that was last year's, not this past year, but last year's 2022 celebration, yeah. three-year-old world grand championship. <clears throat> but you watch her go and you can understand why. She's a nice man. Super nice. Imagine Carol to keep her for a while. Yeah. She goes out of the show ring. She'd make a great brood mare. Carol's a good rider now. Yes, yeah, she is. She's a good jockey. Chris Guthrie is too. Yeah. She sets a good seat. There she is, amateur three-year-old married Gildan winner, Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter. to take the break. Yeah. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you wanna be. 
The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So... If you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at HumaneWatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. All right. We got a couple more classes and some good ones, too, because it's, I'm going to tell you, I, I was very pleased with the horse show. Oh, yeah. I really was. And the trainers, uh, had their horses looking good, ready to go. Uh, I just wish all the other shows had had a, as good a show as Alabama yes. Jubilee mm -hmm. did, because now they, they had a good show. All right, here we go. Youth Championship. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue for Beth Beasley. Jose's Vindicator. Caroline Wesley Way. Quite an honor, Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley was third. I'm hooked, Frank Clark. Touchline, Ella Abernathy. Jose the Champ, Cole McCormick. Gunmaker, Lexi Smith. And Charlie's Hollow Point. Thinking about a gun there. <laughs> and Ashner Keaton. Finished out the ribbons. It's a good class here. Oh, good yeah. class of horses. And evidently the inspections went well. I know some horses didn't make it in, but uh, I heard nobody complaining, which that was, uh, yeah. that's always a big plus. But I do know some that there were some, a few violations found. You know, Jerry, you was talking about while people were watching this, you was talking about questions to ask. Yeah. My question would, to a lot of people is, like we were talking about the certifications yes. of DQPs. Uh, to my knowledge, last two years, the uh, USDA has not certified any of them. But I don't see why that the industry doesn't come up with a way that they can do their own certification of yeah. DQPs and not use the government to certify them. Yeah. I mean, uh, the government hires people and trains them. They, some of them are veterinarians, some of them are not. But if, uh, it's like, what, what was you saying, a knowledgeable horse person? Person, yeah. To me, we've got a lot of knowledgeable horse people that, uh, matter of fact, we've got a, we, I know an FBI agent that is a very knowledgeable yeah. horse person. Uh, the USD hired him to inspect us, and yeah. it take him long to see that it wasn't Cecil Moses. It wasn't 
us that was the problem. Yeah. It was them. They didn't like that at all. Okay, what they're getting this rowdy on this class, oh, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, there's some good horses in here. Some of them young girls. Oh, now yeah. they 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 set a good they set a good seat on yeah. a horse. Yeah, right. They really do. And I notice a lot of young men are doing it now. That they're really their equitation skills are getting real good. Yeah. Right there, he is Super Bowl MVP. Nice horse. Yes, he is. I mean, he's a continuous winner. Oh, yeah. But he, if you watch him, he, he, he just, he's one of these that is made that you know that when you go, oh, yeah, you're going to have a good show. Uh huh. He does a good job. And BB's an excellent rider. Oh, yeah. So. Right here, quite an honor. I love this mare. Yeah. I mean, this is one good mare. She timed up good. This was a hard class to judge, mm -hmm. to tell you the truth. Ask for nothing no better. And right here, here's your state class. They had five good ones in it, buddy. Yeah. Honor and remembering Dan Waddell took the blue. Black Jen's justification in Jimmy McConnell. Really coach Jamie Lawrence. Walking Mr. Charlie, Michael Mosteller. And Jason Bourne, Gary Wayne Smith, finished out the ribbons. But I'm, I'll be honest, I, I am a honored and remembered man because yeah. I like him. I like the other horses. There's a lot of them that I like, but I, I do like that one. Again, I want to thank everybody that advertised their horse. I'm going to keep a, a tally on those to where I can recognize them after the last horse show. And we, once everybody has paid their for their ad, one check. Yeah. And I know who I'm gonna give it to because I know, I know he will use it the right way. Yeah. I'm a Dan Waddell fan, though. I'm gonna tell you, I am, because he, he just, he does a good job. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's always supports the shows. And 
And I guess what I'm saying, he doesn't pick and choose. Yeah. He just loads up and goes. I remember years ago, that's the way it was. If you had a good horse, you were wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, everybody wanted you. There he is, honor and remember. And Dan Waddell for George and Cam Lewis. I like that horse, too. Yeah. He's got it all together. And that's all that matters. Yep. Well, we don't have a horse show this weekend, but next weekend we're going to be putting together some uh, pretty good video that I think a lot of people will like to see because I'm going to show different things that the government is doing that they shouldn't do. Yes. Uh, and I mean, we've got the right to video. Seems to me like everybody would be videoing. I mean, it really does. I'm, if, they can't stop you. Uh, nobody has the right to stop you. It's it's a law. Yeah. So you ought to be in there videoing and watching what they're doing to your horse, because sooner or later you may, you know, you actually might you need need, it. need yeah. the evidence. You're right. But uh, we're going to be doing some trail riding horses. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of everything. That's, that's what makes the world go round. Just a little everything. <laughs> Just a little everything. <laughs> make the world go round. I want everybody to remember Dick Peoples. Yes. Pray for him and pray for Jerry's mother. Now she's in Vanderbilt. Yes. And, and Dick's got to have a knee replacement. Yes. It just seems like I'm, I'm, I'm thankful I'm sitting here. Yep. I'm, I am. I mean, but we will see everybody next week with a new show and don't forget we're going to be bringing some uh, showing some stuff that all of you would probably like to see i know that uh i look at it all the time i'm, I'm saying how can they get by with this you are exactly uh, right about that and it's it's time that the industry i guess stood up but we'll see see y'all next week see you later <laughs>